Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm proud to be. This is the. This is what Flint looked like. Yeah. This is the fighting Flint that we used to have. Right. This is the Flint we have forgotten. This is the Flint with the rich history. The sit down strike. Put the unions on the map. Right. The first city to elect an African American black for mayor. The first city to pass open housing. Yeah. We are history makers and we set the pace on a lot of things. So I'm proud of all of us here today. That's right. Because yeah. we gotta remember who we are. That's right. That's right. I just wanna say that the people in Detroit that were so hit with a uh, atomic atom bomb when the emergency manager, and let's be clear. Yeah. There is no daylight between the emergency manager and our right to water. There's no daylight between that. In order for us to win our right to water, we got to fight the emergency manager and all the corporate shield, as a corporate shield that he represents banks, corporations, and other corporate entities. So we need to be clear on that. We need to understand who our friends are and who our enemies are in this fight. Now, one of the things that we're trying to do, we have had a triple, a triple hit in the last day as it relates to water. We have had citizens in the trailer park bubble Western Road that we just learned been without water for 19 months. That's right. Y'all say shame. Shame, 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 shame. Our second threat was the citizens who were paying their bills being ousted from their homes at Sussex Apartments. On Pearson Road. Shame, 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 shame. Our third, and it's equally as devastating, is the missionary, the center, drop-in center on Wager Street for those who had nowhere to go to be able to stop in, take a shower, wash their clothes, and stay in from the harsh elements of Michigan winter, their water has been turned off. Oh, shame, 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 shame. So we got some issues. More than what you will ever imagine. We got issues. Right. And then that does not include individuals who's, who's living in the shadows, hiding, yeah. because they don't have water yeah. either, but they don't want to come out. So, right. Right. so right. what we're going to do, and see me later if you want to participate, we're gathering these stories, because the United Nations is coming to Michigan. That's right. And we yeah. want to put this issue right. on the international map. That's right, yeah, that's right. That's we right. want to tell right. the world that's right. that in the richest country in the world, people living without water because of corporate greed. That's right. That's right. That's, that's, right. Right. that's, right. that's what we want to tell our story. So I thank you, I'm done, and, the great lady. and I appreciate y'all. And get one of these papers. We need new. We can't keep reading the Flint Journal and think we're gonna get our truth. So get one of these. And Thank you. Yeah. I mean, these three women have.